Hey everybody, what's going on? James here. I got a little toy from Josh Light. No, it's not a Reef Octopus. That's the one he got. So he ended up sending me his Aqua Sea Remora for a really great price. I couldn't pass it up. Um, so with that, we're going to unbox this bad boy. Let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, he had had it as a spare, so I figured, you know, why not? Maybe I'll be able to use it for the Pico that I have. So, well, now that I'm looking at the overflow box, <laughs> maybe not, unless I can come up with something. But, uh, there's the overflow box. It's huge. And it's a lot bigger than I expected, but that's all right. I can always end up coming up with another idea. If not, maybe I'll hook it up to the reef tank as well. Um, Alright, anyways, that's the overflow box for it. The Aqua Sea Remora, I'm sure most of them are aware, it's a hang on the back skimmer itself. Here's the actual unit itself. Plenty of foam in it. Thank you, Josh. Adding all that extra foam. Really do appreciate it. Took the extra care to get some foam in here. And a couple extra spare straight pieces, of course. That's all right. I'll just break the guys up and get them out of here. And as you can see, it is it's an Aqua Sea Remora. Really nice skimmers. It's definitely bigger than I expected it to be, but uh, you know, nonetheless, it is an extra skimmer. I run a Coral Life 65 currently, so it's something definitely different for sure. Um, Here's the actual collection cup. I'm not really sure how this whole setup works. I'm going to have to go online and figure it out, but there's the collection cup. There's the lid for it. And I'm guessing this rubber band has something to do with holding the actual cup on. So I will definitely check that part of it out. And then also... comes with a MaxiJet 1200. It doesn't have a lid on the top of it, but that's all right. These are all sealed units. But I may just cut out a piece of plexiglass and actually, you know, weld it on to here with either silicone or possibly the weld on itself. If weld on, I'll actually bond to this. I don't know if it will or not, but regardless, I mean, it's not a big deal because they are sealed units. But, um, uh, yeah, so that's the MaxiJet 1200. I have a spare one actually that I use on my 75 gallon aquarium as well, so if need be, I could always use that. And that's it for inside here. So, that'll be a new thing for sure as far as figuring out how to set it up. Like I said, I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about it, but, you know, we always do different DIY stuff and whatnot. I might, I might actually either try cutting this guy down to where it's actually a shorter unit and raise the bottom up. Or, you know, use another piece of plexi for that matter. Notice it's got the drain hole for it right here with the sponge inside here. See, so there's the sponge. So that's just for the actual micro bubbles themselves. But I might actually be able to figure out a way to make this box smaller to where it still might be able to work right. I'll have to think about that. 
or possibly if I decide to go ahead and use it on the 55 gallon aquarium I have the uh, overflow box that I use on my 55 gallon aquarium so it's possible I might be able to figure out a way to use that box in unison with this unit itself but there's the actual unit itself definitely an interesting unit for sure I must say never dealt with one of these before so from what I've heard it's got some really good reviews on them and this basically looks just like my eShop overflow on the 55 minus the fact that this is cut all the way across with grooves and it doesn't have this actual centerpiece so I mean the skimmer would go into this portion as far as uh, you know the inlaid two part of it I'm assuming and then from there water would get pumped over here out of the skimmer back out so I'm guessing Well, I don't know. I'll have to figure out how it actually works. I'll go online and use the uh, <coughs> online instructions and see exactly how they mount up and whatnot. Oh, this might actually. Oh, this is the the ring for the actual cap. I see. All right. But um. Anyways, thank you, Josh. I really do appreciate it. It's pretty awesome. I definitely it's good I have a spare now. Like I said, I might actually be able to use it in unison to the actual reef itself now. I'll show you guys a quick picture of the reef. The actinics are on. I uh I don't know if you noticed, but I changed the entire escape last night. I totally scrubbed this thing down. I pulled out the only rock I didn't pull out was this big one right here. But um all these other rocks, I actually pulled them out, scrubbed the heck out of them with a toothbrush to uh, get all the bubble hair or bubble algae and regular hair algae off. You can still see like little remnants of this stuff on there. Oh, well, you can actually see that. But um, I'm going to do another video later to where you see what it looks like once I. Uh, put the red spectrum into the camera that way you can actually see how it looks but I think the aquascape came out really nice on it it's definitely something different and then I've also got a little surprise in there as well that I picked up last night actually a couple of them but I'm gonna probably only be able to find one so anyways that's the reef tank and then that's the overflow box that I use now so I might be able to figure out some way uh, hooking that remora up to it or using the big acrylic box that I had made originally so who knows I'll have to mess with it because this actually does hold a lot of water inside there I don't know if you can see that but that water level is way up there so I may be able to work that thing in there somehow we'll have to see how it works but uh that's what's going on at the moment I will make up another video just to show you how this thing actually looks now that I've got it pretty much all cleaned up and again Josh thank you very much I really do appreciate it and I will get this posted up for you make sure to check out his link at the bottom of my description and what have you Josh is a great guy you'll fi find him on uh, daretoreef.com and sometimes fired up tanks fired up fish tanks .com as well all right guys with that i will see you later bye bye